Hulu gaslights you, though. If you let you think you could watch what you're about to watch. You type in a show, they're like, is this the exact show you're looking for? I'm like, yeah. They're like, too bad, you broke bitch, you can't watch it. <laughs> and if you were out watching TV as much as you were working, you would be able to afford this, but instead, <laughs> enjoy this documentary from 50 years ago. <laughs> and I watch a documentary called The Building of the World Trade Center. I'm like, oh, yeah. they don't know yet. I'm watching it like, no! <laughs> Don't build a second one! Oh, you guys are fucked! <laughs> I watched a documentary called Hitler's Mustache. It fucked my whole life up. <laughs> and now all my recommendations are just Nazi, 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 Nazi. I want to learn about the Nazis, but I don't, I don't want to look like I'm doing homework. <laughs> Bring women over to watch TV, do Netflix and chill, which I can't afford. I got Hulu with ads. It's all Nazis on TV, it scares the hoes. I said, fuck that shit, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do some independent reading. I bought a book about Nazis. You ever read a Nazi book in public? It's not easy. <laughs> I live in New York, you know something about New York? A lot of Jews. <laughs> I said it that way so it didn't sound hateful. Jews, you know what I'm It'd be different, I was like, there's a lot of fucking Jews in New York. I'm like, calm down, Kanye, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you ever try to read a Nazi book in public? The only way to do it is, is to look expressively disappointed every time. <laughs> you just want to look at it like, <laughs> I don't like this guy. That joke did really well over here in Argentina. You laugh like a sprinkler. Ha 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 This is a fun Saturday Night Crowd, man. Last show, they were good. They were, they, they, we had more people on the last show, but half of them were pieces of shit. They didn't even fill up the VIP on this show. It's fucked up they sat you behind the VIP. Move up, Simpson, to your VIP now. What happened? My grandpa died in 9-11, so if you want to be Whoa, that was like a little kid. <laughs> you know, little kids just be saying shit sometimes. Thank you for sitting in VIP. My grandpa died in 9 11. He was a hell of a pilot. <laughs> Usually, you like to save that stuff for the end of the show. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum, I guess. <laughs> I <laughs> never forget. So stop fucking with me! <laughs> Grandpa got out just in time. He was just trying to get away. He was like, God damn it, this granddaughter will not shut the fuck up. I'm going to work today. I don't give a fuck. He was in a restaurant and he choked on a roll. He, so he didn't die on 9-11, he was just, he died on 9-11. He just didn't chew his food. He went to Popeye's for a lunch break and was watching the coverage be like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry for you lost, but it's been 20 years ago. <laughs> Once the US pulled out of Afghanistan, you should have stopped crying for grandpa. <laughs> We moved on, so can <laughs> guys want to talk about Palestine? <laughs> I don't got no jokes about that. <laughs> they, I remember I was six when 9 11 died. Both my grandparents survived. Uh, <laughs> 
I was six. Every year after that, they tried to get you signed up for the military. Do you, any guys like around my age remember that? Like you just have dudes in fatigues like all the time in school. I remember one time I went to go get like a you get like your prison tray of food, right? <laughs> now Fridays you get rectangle pizza. It's like Lego City pizza. <laughs> Like the Lego set was orange is the new black. <laughs> and I went to go get some pizza and I got my pizza Fridays. I allow myself to get a cookie because we had reduced lunch. Thank you, section eight. <laughs> As I got that cookie, some army dude in fatigue grabbed my shoulder. He's like, that's sweet boy. You know what else is sweet? <laughs> Freedom. I, like, I don't think you're allowed to touch me, sir. What kind of recruiter are you? From the military or from Mr. Epstein? I don't know why I turned into Axel Rose. Welcome to the jungle! We got lots of kids! Heads and shoulders and knees, knees and toes. This is fun. I like you guys. I thank you for wearing costumes. I was gonna wear a costume today. I went to Spirit Halloween. I went to three Spirit Halloweens. The lines were like like a like a new Batman movie was coming out of some shit. I said, fuck that, I'm not waiting in line for a costume that I'm just gonna have to throw away when I get to TSA. I was gonna I was gonna dress up. I had a Batman costume that I bought because things have been going well. And I bought it had like, like realistic gauntlets and shit and everything, and I was like, I'm gonna wear that on stage and get no pussy. <laughs> And then when I got, I was think, like thinking about it, being like, I don't really want to, it's like metal. Like, I don't want to bring that shit through TSA. I have to explain to them. It's going to look like I'm trying to not be Batman. I'm like, I'm not Batman. <laughs> I know you've never seen the two of us in the same place, but I'm not him. I am traveling with a little boy. That is a separate issue. Don't look at the boy. Look at me. One time I had to fly back from uh, I, a couple of weeks ago. I lost my ID. I was I, when I was flying from New York to LaGuardia. Some gay agent was like, "Yo, dude, I recognize you, man. You that guy to tell women to shut the fuck up online." I'm like, yeah, I'm <laughs> and then he never gave me my ID back. I didn't realize it until like I, I got to Ohio, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna have to just live here now. I can't fly back." <laughs> I was ready to kill myself. Who wants to live in Ohio? I don't <laughs> I don't do pills anymore, so what's the point of me? That hit hard. Hell yeah, dog. You don't want to sell the pills. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> On my way back, I didn't have ID, and I got to the gate agent, and I was like, this is, sometimes ego is a motherfucker. So I was like, I got a blue check on Instagram. <laughs> That'll work. I'm like, I go to the gate agent and I'm like, hey man, I don't have ID or anything. I have a picture of my ID. Uh, here's me on Instagram, at Troy Bond says, and I, you can follow me, come to the show. And he was like, he, I swear to God, the dude just looked at me and went, yeah, bro, I'll follow you. <laughs> I said, thank you. He's like, I didn't say it was funny. <laughs> I'm a hater, yo. I'm the one that be commenting, still not funny. <laughs> I do it when I'm in line, telling people they can't get on a plane. <laughs> then as I'm in line, like there's like four people and they're like, hey man, you're that guy tells women to shut the fuck up. And then like the Homeland Security agent comes over and she's asking me questions. She was like, well, okay, well, you, you can fly without an ID. We're just gonna have to call Homeland Security. They're gonna have some questions. You have to answer the questions. If you don't get them right, you're not gonna be able to fly out for another month. And I was like, where the fuck am I gonna live? <laughs> fuck it, let's roll the dice. I love the game. We wanna put $20 on this game? Let's go. <laughs> Parlay, we'll get a flight to Vegas. He said, what's your name? I said, Troy Bond. He said, what's your father's name? I said, Troy Bond. <laughs> they were like, all right, what's your mother's name? And I was like, Troy Bond. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, Troy Bond, Troy Bond. <laughs> 